At the Lego store, a large pick a brick cup costs $15, and you're estimated to get 300 to 350 pieces inside the cup. That being said, I think I got a little more than that. what's up and in this video I'm just going to be doing an opening of this pick a brick tub that I got at my local Lego store in Cherry Hill New Jersey so these things like I said in the opening cost $15 and it makes a loud noise when you crash it this thing is jam-packed full with not only little pieces like you can see on the outside there are actual bricks and actual 4x6 plates inside this cup too and there's a ton of stuff this is absolutely crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this thing up and just take a look at how much stuff is actually in it. And to do that, I have one of these aluminum trays that you use for cooking, just to spill everything out in. But before we do that, we're gonna actually take a look down here at what's inside my bucket. So along the very bottom, you'll see that I have a bunch of these olive plates stacked up. And these just go around the entire bottom, and if you've seen actual pick a brick cups, the bottom is actually like, not like, the middle of the bottom is higher to make the stud so they can stack better. Uh, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you use pick a bricks before. So I filled that in first, and then inside I have a whole layer of bricks and plates stacked up. Let me see if there's any view where you can actually see it. This view would be the best. If you see all the yellow and the blue that's stacked up there, that's all bricks and plates stacked. And then I just shove little parts in this thing like crazy in the rest of it. So let's open this thing up now and spill it out. I'm not going to be counting how many parts are in this because that would be insane. So let's take off the tape. This thing is literally held together by the four pieces of tape. The lid did not stay on it in the store, but they let you tape it so that it will stay on. First off, I have this assembly, which was resting inside the stud. Always put something in there. This is just bricks, a plate, and then some slopes. You have to put something in there, though, or else you're wasting your time and your money. So now, let me see without making a huge mess, if I can just pull out my central assembly. Boom. There you go. This is what was inside the center of my pickup brick cup. And if we just zoom in here, you can see exactly. I've got a layer of plates and a layer of bricks, plates, bricks, bricks, and then the top. The top's important. You have to put something on the top. As I was trying to say, you never want to leave studs exposed on the top. So I just put jumpers and then I put some tiles over top it. But just go down. It's literally just everything down here. These are all big plates. There's 2x6s and 4x6s. And then when you come up, there's bricks. And this is what I do. I make a 6x6 square. And then I put a 4x4 four four right here. And that fits perfectly into the top which is really awesome. So let's just zoom out for a bit. There we go. And that's in there. That alone is a ton of pieces. I'm not even going to lie. Like, that's a ton of stuff just in there. But do you want to see the rest of what's in this? Here we go. That is a lot of stuff in there. Let's just look. I mean, like I said, I just put a bunch of little pieces around this assembly and it works great because that way you get a ton of these little pieces but also you get a good number of bricks and such and that's all I've done this is a big piece and I had this in the picker brick and I was really happy and what I use this for is I use this to shove the little pieces into the tight ends of the bucket just to get as much parts in this thing as humanly possible it's really fun to fill these up this is not an easy process if you want to be serious about filling up the pick up cup. This stacking took me about 45 minutes to make this thing. And then probably another like, what, 3 minutes to make this. 
And then you get all these pieces in it tightly. Took about 20 minutes and I just had all these plate assemblies as for along the bottom of the cup. These took probably another 20 to 25 minutes. So it takes a long time to fill up a thicker brick cup if you're doing it my way. But honestly, this is the most efficient way I can think of to fill up a thicker brick cup. And you just get a great variety of parts. You get a great amount of parts. Obviously, this is for people who want both large parts and little parts. If you want just large parts, there are plenty of tutorials on the internet on how to get only large parts. But I much prefer getting a mix. And I mean, like studs alone, I have probably, these orange studs I have to have at least 150 of. Eyeballs, there's probably like 200. Uh, probably 75 of these plates. Bricks, like just bricks on plates on here, probably a little over 100. Got a ton of jumpers in yellow, which is awesome. So yeah, just a whole lot of cool stuff. Thank you all for watching this little video on how I get the most parts in a pick-a-brick. And I'll talk to you all again in my next video.